You remember Trailer Park Boys, the TV show, very funny, from the east coast of Canada? One of the characters is a big muscle-bound guy called Julian. And Julian cannot get through his day without having a lot of rum and cokes. That's how he does it. He's got to steal his nerves because underneath that, Julian is a nervous wreck. So he's got to keep himself well lubricated. Now, what is the reaction that Julian is going to have when he hears that there are live nukes? What do we mean by live nukes? So taking all the safeties off the nukes because we're going to go to DEF CON, whatever it is, two minutes to midnight, where we're always at, we're going to go to about two seconds to midnight. Two seconds to launching nuclear annihilation. Because that's what this is, World War Three. And that's what they're going to tell you, is that all the safeties are off, and, you know, scientists have moved the nuclear destruction clock to from two minutes to two seconds, or whatever it is, because they say it's imminent nuclear annihilation on the planet. What is, what's Julian going to do? He's going to the liquor store, and he's going to stock up. He's going to go and clear out the liquor store of every last bottle of rum. And then he's going to clear out the liquor store of every last bottle of rye which is Canadian whiskey, because that's what it's going to be. They're going to have to have a lot of booze because they're nervous Nellies, because nothing like this has ever happened in their lifetime, a world war. The last time we had a world war, it ended with two nuclear bombs dropped on Japan. I don't know how many of you people are white knucklers. That is, you go to a party... And you're really not comfortable meeting new people until you've had a couple of drinks. And the first drink is like you're holding on to it so tight because you're so nervous. And you're like trying to slurp it and gulp it because you got white knuckles because you're just like so nervous. And you're grabbing hold of that glass. And if you grab hold of the glass any tighter, you're going to smash the glass in your hand because you're holding on to it. So white knuckle drinking. And that's what we're going to have planet wide. We already have a planet of alcoholics. Let's just face it. Everybody you know is over drinks, don't they? Mm -hmm. So over drinkers anonymous, uh, I don't know. You've already got your consumption of booze for your month. I don't know. Triple it. Because everybody who's got a day job where they don't drink, they're going to be like Julian. Because there's nothing like the fear of nuclear annihilation to get people just insanely scared. How much insanely is it like off the chart? There ain't enough drinks and a bottle of rum to calm the nerves of Julian from Trailer Park Boys when he hears that there's, there's going to be nukes dropped on the trailer park. Nuclear uh, bubbles is going to go what? I don't know. He's going to try and get a fallout shelter for the kitties. He says, oh, I'm a goner, but I got to do something for my kittens. So he's going to try and build a little bomb-proof shelter for his cats. Randy's going to have his shirt off and his pants off, and he's going to be standing there with his wanger hanging out because he's a male prostitute, and he's going to be like, pff, pff, well, I'm just going to be free. I'm just going to stand here naked. I don't know. It's winter in Canada. He's going to have to figure this out because it's too cold to stand outside naked with your wanger hanging out. But in the end, that's what he's going to figure it out. And, you know, they did declare that Mr. Lee he's, was dead. But, you know, I don't think he's really dead. They think they just faked his death. Because, anyways, Lee is known as being an incredible alcoholic. I don't know how you're going to get more booze into him. So, generally speaking, with the threat of nuclear war, if you were an investor and you thought somehow it was not going to happen, buy um, liquor stock. Anybody, any liquor company, buy it. Because liquor sales are going to go through the fucking roof. Triple. They're going to triple overnight when they announce these things on mainstream news. Because it's only, it's right there now. I don't know. I don't watch mainstream news. But I'm going to tell you, very soon they're going to slip that in. The Because they always say it's the scientists that go and it's, it's the two minutes to midnight nuclear annihilation. And they're going to say, the scientists, oh, they're all drinking. Because they're so fucking nervous Nellies. They're nervous Nellies. It's two, two seconds to midnight now. At midnight is when the nuclear weapons are all...
launched. Everyone is going to be a stinky drunk. No one's going to get anything done. Nobody. And all those truck drivers, you know, that bring all the food to your local Walmart? I don't know. In the old days, they call it Benny and the Jets. They take Bennies. Benadryl. It's an upper to keep you awake when you're driving. So they're already high strung because they're on Bennies because they got to work and work and work because they're so underpaid. They overwork and they're underpaid and, you know, so they're just going to triple their dose of Bennies. I don't know, because then they could, I don't know, people go insane when they take too many uppers. Too much amphetamine is like, they're already nervous Nellies, and then they're going to take amphetamine on top of being, I can't tell you, because the truck driver, you better get off the fucking roads. Because these truck drivers on Bennies triple the dose of Bennies, plus they're going to stop in and they're going to have to have a bottle of whiskey too. To calm their nerves. I mean, uppers and downers at the same time. They used to do that all the time in the 1970s. Is it true? I, d I stopped drinking. I don't drink anymore. No, it's been years. So, no, you won't see me at the liquor store because... Am I worried? No. Because it's all fake news. But... All you sheeple out there and all the government people are all insanely watching the fucking news and all this fake bullshit and fake war. You people, when they do announce that, you know, you got live nukes. You people, you sheeple, are going to shit your pants and shit your pants and shit your pants again. And then you're going to pee your pants and then you're probably going to go through, I don't know, a complete cycle of barfing and barfing and barfing. Because that's what it is. There's nothing quite as frightening as uncontrollable nuclear weapons flying overhead. My advice? Quit drinking. Completely. Turn off the fucking TV. Turn off the fucking radio. And turn off any fucking people that are talking to you about this fucking war. This bullshit thing. It's a pack of lies. There are going to be nukes. No, but they're going to tell you because they fake it all the time. Everything about this thing, it's going to be fake, 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 fake. But they're going to tell you it's real. And dumb bunnies are going to insist it's real because Lester the Molester, Lester Holt on NBC News said. So, am I worried about? No, I'm just, I just watch the monkey-minded sheeple. There's nothing like monkey-minded sheeple. The trailer park boys are sheeple. Well, they might have, you know, what's his name? Jack Rock or whatever his name. He's probably going to be the one that says, all oh, conspiracy theory. He's going to say, don't worry about it, boys. But the rest of them are going to be going, I can't go with that. Because if it's about drinking and the solution is drinking, they're going to have more drinking. They just need an excuse. And that's the same way it is with all the alcoholics on the planet, which is, you know, all your neighbors. Wherever you live, everybody's a heavy drinker, and the drink, they're drinking and the drinking and the drinking. So, you know, I don't drink because it makes me sick, sick, sick to my stomach, and barf, 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 I can't drink it. My days of drinking a long time ago. So, you know, that's the way it is. Either you're going to listen to mainstream news and go insane with fear, or you're going to be like me and say, fuck off, Lester the Molester, fuck off every other news organization, you know, because... When you raise your consciousness on the scale of human consciousness, you just know. You know truth from falsehood. And if you're low on the scale of consciousness, you're a dumb sheeple. And you're always looking to somebody else to tell you what's the truth. So, you're going to have to decide in the end what the truth is. And for your own sanity, don't choose fear. Choose love. Because it's a much more better feeling to feel love. I feel love, I feel love, that was an old disco song from the 1970s. That's my advice, but you know, no one ever listens to Bob. Even my sister who bought me a black t-shirt that said, listen to Bob, she gave it to me. Does she listen to me? Fuck no, fuck no, she married the guy that owns mainstream news in our town. I don't know if she married. I don't know. I haven't talked to her. And I don't know. It's been six months, nine months. She don't talk to me no more. 
because she doesn't see eye to eye with me. She, uh, I don't know, she's like, she's very difficult. Anyways, if you want to listen to Bob, don't worry about a thing. Turn off everybody. Like if people keep insisting on telling you all this bullshit news, then you need to block them from your life. And don't forget, if I had money, I'd invest in boost stocks. I don't have the money to do it. But if you got cash and you want to make a killing, invest in boost stocks right now.